yeah, what's good, everybody? So, this is Coach Vaughn. I just have to start this video over because I was, like, talking on the other one. It took me mad long to get to the point. So, I'm trying to get to the point straightforward on this one. Listen, what I'm, I, I love hip-hop. I've always been a hip-hop lover, especially, specifically, the rap art form. That has always been my favorite uh, type of music, and I'm a musician. I play all different types of music. I, I'm a, I'm a, I play jazz. I've played blues. I've, you know, uh, played funk, Motown. I've played classical. I grew up knowing what we call eclectic, right? So, but but rap has always been my my favorite art form. But the reason why I'm talking about it is because I recently started. Uh, doing work with us with a particular element one of the most challenging elementary schools in the dc area so they have some of the lowest grades um you know a, a large population of them are coming from you know unstable uh, and un unstable home life so for instance a large maybe like 98 to 99 percent of the students there are have assistance with lunch um you know a large amount of the students there are actually homeless okay and it was interesting because in spite of those statistics these kids had on the dopest sneakers I'm, and i'm talking about yo i i'm a, i love sneakers right i love a good sneakers and i looked at these kids feet yo these kids had on some sneakers that i'm like yo this these are dope right um, but I found that interesting because one of the educators there informed me of some of the statistics that are going on in the school. Cause I just try to, if I'm going to be doing work there, I want to kind of know, you know, what are the challenges so that we can, I can accurately try to help out. And, you know, they told me that about the homelessness, they told me about the, the test scores, what have you. And I thought it was interesting that here, here is a community and students who struggle financially and academically. You know, but they have on the dopest sneakers. And I'm not passing judgment on anybody with that. But what I am saying is that it's interesting that and tying in now hip hop and tying in hip hop and, um, 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 you know, the education and, 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 and the homelessness, what I'm talking about. I just found it interesting that hip hop with the state of hip hop today has gotten to a point where, you know, it's all about showing off how much you are it's all about showing off how much further ahead i am than you whereas you know um music in the past kind of used to be about you know let, let's lift the, lift each other up together you know um not about how do i downgrade women but how do i lift up women how do i actually honor the women in my life um or, or, or women in general uh hip-hop used to talk a lot about you know the struggles to get out of particular types of situations but it seems that hip hop now has glorified money when it never really glorified money when it when it came out. Um, when you talk about stuff, even going back since this is a popular movie out like N.W.A. right now, like it was never about m the glorification or the worship, so to speak, of money. It was really about um, the elevation of a people. Um, but what I've seen is that the more and more hip hop seems to take off is the further back it sets um, black people. And that saddens me. I mean, there's a couple of artists that I've, I've heard who it seems like they try to bring something to the table that will actually elevate. So, you know, artists such as J. Cole, some of, I haven't really heard Kendrick in depth, but I've listened to a number of his, his some of the songs that he's had out, uh, I think on his latest album, and it seems to try to really cause even the black black folks to pause and ask like yo what are we doing here um and then you have some other artists who are out there also who are who are trying to do uh certain things i'm sure um but really do i don't really see many artists doing even what dame dash is doing right now where dame dash is like listen i'm i, I will use my knowledge to help elevate the rest of you know the the black population so going back to what i was saying before before i get too far off track it just it's it intrigues me that hip hop portrays this message of look at me the glamour look at the glamour that I bring to the table look at how I deck myself out in jewels look at um, 
you know, look at how dope I am, look at the car I'm driving. And it kind of makes our urban communities, urban spaces want to show that we are also doing it big when many of us are not doing it big. And how detrimental is that to a people? And I understand the challenge of it. Part of the challenge that we have is that when you are in a position where you never get to have, you want to at least get something to to at least kind of have. You know what I'm saying? So so I'm not trying to downplay our people right now. But what I am asking, or, or I guess calling us to do, is to kind of just think about things for a little bit. Like, And I'm not saying that these kids can't have the sneakers. Um, if there was a, by all, they brought, maybe they found a way to, to get the sneakers. You know, maybe that's just the sacrifice that they tried to make for their kids to at least give their kids that. Um, you know, but I'm looking at the school and the behavior challenges that I was seeing in there. Um, and, and even when I was greeting some of the parents when they were on their way into school, like you could see in the parents, the challenges, right? You could, in essence, see what we call the hood, um, in the parents, and so there's this, there's this like just this snowball effect, and I'm just here thinking in my head like, yo, how do we combat that? How do we educate, you know, the current population of young adults? Um, how, how do we, how do we educate ourselves as young adults, as black young adults, um, you know, and 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 so that that can pour down and 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 trickle down to the younger generation, and then how do we pour into the younger generation so that as they get older, it'll cause a new paradigm shift in their generation. Um, I know it's a multifaceted problem, so I'm not trying to tr- trying to state it as though it's a simple problem, but I think that those in a position of influence, such as the rappers that are out there, the R&B artists that are out there. If you have the, if they have the platform, and if if they use their platform to 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 promote education on a large scale, if they use their platform to to promote good behavior, man, what would that do for the younger kids that listen to them? Um. So yeah, man. So so I guess my admonishment to you, whoever's watching this, is that that you would be careful not to get caught up in the hype, I think I'm really about to get to a, pos- a point in time uh, uh, or a position where, you know, music that just really does not seem to uplift my people. Um, and when I say my people, I'm not saying that my people are only black people. I have a great, um, white friends, great Indian friends. I have great friends of all different types of col- cultures, uh, races, uh, religions or what have you. Um, but what I am saying is that Especially, especially for black people, though, but for everybody, is you know, be careful not to believe the hype of what's being put out there. Don't, don't allow what they are putting out there as a definition of success to be what you define as success for yourself, and then you start find yourself, um, you know, overextending yourself or or doing things that are way outside of your means. In in because of what you're hearing so for instance and i'm not not even in just that because sometimes uh, those of us who may have gone ahead and gotten educated we do that also right so because we grew up uh being told about education and, and specifically going to college which we know is a good thing to go to college but we've been told to go to college kind of at any cost and so what happened to many of us is that we became overextended because we've taken out student loans or, or we've gone to these great expensive colleges and to where we're coming out of college, but the money that we're making is not, first of all, the jobs ain't even out there. And even if you did get the job, it might not be paying you the money that allows you to really get out of the hole that you're in. Um, you know, so, so it's on the educated end and on the, for lack of a better word, uneducated end, where we just have to be careful not to allow everything else to define success you know let 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 let's first get down to figuring out our purpose um understanding who we've been created to be and i think that that that's that's the key man and and figuring out what your means are and how do you live within your means and constant and and then build progressively, right? Inch by inch. How do we make the best decision? How do I manage my money? What are the basic skills that I need? What what is the education that I need to get? Um, you know how do it's it's 
it's so much. It's so much. We really need to figure out our purpose, and I'll probably do a video on that soon, man. But it just those, those are just some things to think about, man. Like you, whatever platform it is that you have, you may not have the greatest platform, but use your platform. You know, maybe one day you'll make it famous. Maybe you'll never be famous, but use your platform to uplift people. And you know, maybe it's this is just a call for us to, especially those in the urban black community, um, to stop supporting those things which are clearly tearing us apart, br breaking down our families, um, killing our finances, killing our ability to elevate. Let's stop supporting those who are bringing the drugs into our community. Let's stop supporting the liquor, um, you know, the, the fact that they build liquor stores seemingly all the time in our communities. Um, let's stop supporting the music by our people that's killing our people. You know, that's degrading our women. Let's stop, man, I'm I'm walking, every not walking, but dr every time I go home, I drive by, and this one strip that I have to pass by is nothing but, like, strip clubs. And it's kind of like, you just see, it just looks, it looks ratchet over there, you know? not to, I'm, And I'm not passing judgment on anybody. There might be some young women in there, and um, uh, who, this is what, this is all they know to do to survive. So I'm not necessarily passing judgment on them. But how can we begin to make that change? How we, can we begin to affect their lives in such a way where they see that they do have other options? And if they feel like they don't have other options, how do we present the, the, the young ladies that are coming up after them? How do we present and show them that there, there are other possibilities out there for them to, to have better and to be better? Right. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to end this there. Because I don't even know where to go with this. This was just on my heart to talk about. And I just hope that um, it just causes some some level of thinking amongst our people. So, yeah, this is Vaughn, man. Um, love you guys. Peace. Average is failure.